Welcome to the parched town of Avery, where the locals have found shelter from a dust storm in the crowbar. You find yourself caged in with the brooding souls, steeped in a veil of smoke, when a whirl of incriminating evidence rushes in. Orville, the barkeep, looks on with increasing suspicion as you scramble to preen yourself clean of crime before he calls the birds in blue. Step into a crime noir game of avian incrimination with the last call at the crowbar. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Seek and Destroy, and I found another cool card game at MegaCon that I thought was just really neat. And this kid who made it, um, I think he was there with his girlfriend or so someone, this young lady that was with him. Um, the passion they had for this, uh, especially him, who I think he did all the artwork for this game, and he came up with the concept of it. Like, all of this was just... I was just impressed. He was a young dude, and he did a lot of work to make this game a reality. And for that reason alone, I wanted to support it. Um, he had some great artwork that I wish I had the money to buy because I would definitely have it on my wall. So it's really cool if you're a fan of birds or aviation in any way. It's kind of like a, and if you're a fan of crime noir and stuff, he put together those two ideas, like a basically people who are like half bird, half people, and it's like a crime story. It's you know crime noir and stuff, and it's uh, almost like Clue in a way to an extent, or like an Agatha Christie book, which is even better because I'm a huge fan of hers. Um, but I do love Clue. But um, this is like a card game where basically you have to evidence is piling up against you, and you have to reduce the amount of evidence to clear your name or make you look less like a suspect before the police arrive, essentially. And so I really like that because it has almost. Kind of like, like an escape room feel to it as well but it's just you and your friends sitting around playing cards and i believe this is uh, two to six players and it's good for you know 13 and up and the average game takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play which is awesome so again it feels like very escape room-esque in, in a way so i just loved everything this young man created for this it's so brilliant and so neat and i wanted to share it with you guys so i'm going to let him speak and take it away i'll put his information up on screen please go follow him and check out his stuff and pick up a box of the last call at the crow buy for yourself and definitely check it out and if i can i'll film like a, a night where i play this with friends and i'll share it with you guys as well because this uh, i'm really pumped for uh this is right up my alley and I'm, I'm just a big fan so i'll let him take it away i'll show you more footage of the booth and i want to get your thoughts in the comments down below so thank you and enjoy all right so this is last call the crowbar um it's the crime noir game of avian incrimination so the idea is that you're in this 1930s Dust Bowl era town, you're a bunch of bird people incriminating each other with evidence. Um, so if you played like a game like Betrayal and House of the Hill, where the, uh, you roll against the omen to end or start the game, uh, in this game, you actually draw um, a card called the Orville, who is the bartender of the game, um, and it gets increasingly harder to win the roll against him, and then the game ends. When the game ends, you count your incrimination, and whoever has the least wins. Um, and the idea with the incrimination, incriminating evidence is one through five incrimination, and each one has an incrimination level, so you don't want a high incrimination, but it's a double-edged sword. The higher the incrimination, the better the power. So you might want a card that gives you the ability to draw more cards, it's a number five. Um, and the idea is that if you have a character that matches that color evidence, you can play that on that character, and that makes all of the, the evidence of that color go to zero. So you might want to play that when there's four orbals out. Say you think that the game's going to end soon, you're going to you're going to lose that roll. So you'll you'll want to start zeroing out all of your evidence. So that's kind of the gameplay. There's cards that are purple. Those are called incident cards, and they kind of let you move characters around and mess with other people's hands. Um, but that's last call at the crowbar. So. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> you can uh, get more information at lastcallatthecrowbar.com. And that's it for this episode. Thank you all so much. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And we'll see you in the future. Peace.